In many Tunisian houses, no water is coming out of the tap. Authorities have decided to cut water supply at night since March 31st. Sumaya Ben Abdullah, who lives in Ariana, an agglomeration part of the capital, feels that the situation is very difficult, especially during Ramadan. Water is essential for ablutions, cooking and housework. It's not reasonable to cut off water in the month of Ramadan and let us without water. Luckily, I have a tank to conserve water, and I had put water buckets in the bathroom in the kitchen. Look at what I do when I want to wash dishes. I fill bowls with water and I use it. But what does a person who does not own a tank do? The water distribution company announced, among other measures, a ban on using drinking water for irrigation outside Tunis and on watering green areas within the city. A civil society activist says the state should rather focus on the conception of industrial companies. The Ministry of Agriculture is demanding a strategy for water consumption in agriculture and a high warning because the top priority for water use is human use, as well as a demand to warn the industrialists because they are depleting the underground water table. According to the Tunisian Water Observatory, the water levels in the country's dams have decreased by 60 to 80 percent. In the northern town of Menzel Temim, a member of the Environmental Association is worried. Currently, we have reached the red line, or the danger line in terms of water scarcity. The dams are almost empty. The rationing system that is enforced is no surprise for this water expert. Instead, she believes the state's communication with the population have been poor. After these procedures of cutting off the water for six to seven hours a day, a booklet should have been published explaining water consumption, storage, timing and the quantity allowed to be stored. This is why we consider these measures incomplete, because before taking any step, the citizen must be made aware of the importance of conserving water so that he accepts any measure and it does not cause an adverse effect. Tunisia, which is in its fifth consecutive year of drought, will experience water cuts until September 2023.